Hello, my name's Di Parsons. I'm a poet and a short story writer. I come from South Wales, but uh, I've been living in York for the last uh, 10 years. Um, I guess my, the, the short fiction could be described as uh, dirty surrealism. Um, I like to invent uh, worlds for my characters uh, where they're subject to rules that they don't always understand, rules perhaps that they've created themselves or are thrust upon them. Uh, for instance, uh, you'll find characters who fall in love with correspondence uh, from junk mail. You'll uh, find characters who feel guilty uh, about not torturing people good enough and falling into a caregiving role. You'll find uh, stories about characters who are in an internal lunch break and uh, flit between work and uh, uh, nipping home for a quick shag. Um, I, uh, my, my most recent uh, publications, not in short fiction, it's in poetry. I had a collection of short fiction, a uh, joint collection in 2003 called Solipsism for Beginners. Um, my, but my most recent collection was in 2009 and that was uh, poetry and that's called Love is a fat assed Cow Waiting to Happen. Um, it's not it sounds like Roy Chubby Brown, but it's, it's not a misogynist piece at all. It's uh, a comic slant on uh, uh, male stereotype and ways of dealing with relationship difficulties. There's a kind of comic loneliness about the, the piece. I guess um, one of its main pro preoccupations is the old adage of we come into this life alone and we leave it alone. Uh, and uh, there's a lot about existential solitude in it uh, with, a, with a comic slant. It avoids gravitas, um, uh, but doesn't avoid seriousness. Um, I'm going to read uh, a poem from that collection now, which was written 10 years ago. Uh, when, we were, when I was younger, uh, me and my mate uh, Stephen Cook, uh, had a bit of an obsession with the Cadbury's Caramel Bunny. I don't know if you remember the uh, Cadbury's adverts. Um, she was an um, animated character. Some of my uh, mates were into Madonna. I was deeply in love with the Cadbury's Caramel Bunny. And uh, a couple of difficult relationships down the line, I found myself reminiscing upon an old love. And uh, this is about that. And it's called Me and the Cadbury's Caramel Bunny. All right, she had big ears and buck teeth. It might have been a fetish for fur, not been able to tell whether she was completely naked or fully clothed. She was hard to pin down, half human, half animal, half camera. We got on well. I'd pull away when Val would sob, and after a heavy night of understanding, I'd nip downstairs and elope with my rabbit woman. We never delved any deeper, then she'd given up the pastoral shit and gone into film. I'd given up the human shit and gone into bunnies. We fucked in technicolor. The Epirion of the animal kingdom. I slid inside her cartoon cunt. Not that I ever saw it, nor needed to imagine. Because if you wanted it enough, it fitted like a glove. Her pubes ran from the tips of her toes to the tops of her ears. A complete canopy of sex with nothing left to spare. Back in the flesh and under the blankets, I'd made us a nice pot of tea. Val looked a lot better. She'd had a roll in the hay with Deputy Dog, no doubt. It's nice to be fooled for a while. But the great thing, the best thing about fooling around with a six-foot rabbit woman is you don't take each other too seriously.